Uh, so we want to go ahead and cover the CVA 27 UHE with regards to how to wire um, or configure the blower for the proper CFM. So show you a couple things as if you were here in the class with me. Down here on the blower, if you pull this plug off that's on the right hand side, it'll expose one, two, three, four, five, telling you what speeds these are. There's numbers on this plug, but it's real hard to read it, okay? And it gets faded over time. But green is one, yellow is two, white is three, black is four, and brown is five. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and follow each one of these. I like to grab and pull so that I have a confirmation of what it is that I'm feeling. Okay, I don't like to assume that I have the right wire in my hands. So this green wire is this green wire here connected on G terminal. That's speed tap one for the blower. Down with that, we can leave it that way. Next thing, number two, yellow. Where's it go? Push and pull. Look at this. There you go. Push and pull. Yellow, number two, unused, sitting in the air handler for you to decide if you want to use it. Go ahead and go to number three, white wire, push and pull. All right, there it is. Where is it going? Right here on the back side of the Y1. Y1 is connected by the blue jumper wire to Y2, so they're really one and the same. I could just as well have had this white wire over behind Y2. It makes no difference. It just comes from the factory on the Y1. And I guess as a habit, I, 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 I'm used to going ahead and taking my thermostat wire and going to Y2 if it's a single stage unit. Um, this one it happens to be on Y1. Makes no big deal. All right, so speed tap three is on Y1. Speed tap four. Black wire, where's it going? Look at it, watch the wire, see it pulling? And here it is. This is on that black relay in the back back there. And it's located on the second terminal down on that relay. That relay is the electric heat relay. Its purpose in life is for your CFM when you're in emergency heat um, to have what Lennox has predetermined as the speed to put on that relay. We can, we can talk about that all day because speed tap four is quite a bit if you only have 5KW. So you need to think about things like that. Um, Speed tap four may actually be the speed you want to try and possibly use as your appropriate speed, depending on the static in the ductwork, to get the right CFM out of this air handler. And a simple way to try it is I take, and I've put a little piece of low voltage wire right here on the Y2, for example, all right? And I don't even have to take Speed tap three off, because four is a higher speed than three. The motor, you could give the motor power on both of these terminals, why, on, on three and four, and the motor is going to run the highest number. I can send 24 volts at one, two, three, and four. It's only going to run four. Can't do that with a PSC motor. You try energizing two windings, you're going to let the smoke out. Okay, so if I wanted to see if four was the right CFM, I put the panel back on, I fire the unit up, I check my static pressure, I go to the blower chart and look up speed tap four at that static, intersect it, hey, that's my CFM that I want. These are the speeds that you adjust. If you don't use speed tap four, you have to remember second terminal down on the back for this clear relay is where that wire gets parked. I recommend shink, take a picture of it before you pull that wire off. If you want to try speed tap four because you think uh, three's not giving me enough, let's try four. If you want to try four, 
take a picture of it so that you know exactly what terminal on that little clear relay to put it back on. Five. You could have just left four on there and said, well, I need more air. Um, four is probably it, but I'm lazy. Instead of messing around with putting a piece of wire down here and all that, let's just take five, plug it in, panel on, fire it up, check your static, go back to the chart, see what your CFM is. So it's no different to adjust the speed on this air hammer than it is many of the others where you're getting what speed it's on, getting that static pressure, going to a chart, deciding if you want to turn it up, and then you recheck the static and, and change it to that different speed on the blower chart till you find the right airflow. Right airflow, outside unit times 400. Whatever the size of the outdoor unit is, times 400 to get your should be, and then you get your static, Take your speed, go to the chart that tells you what it is, and you figure it out from there. Super easy to do. See ya. Add a quick footnote. Um, if you want to use speed tap four, the little spade that goes over the wire down on the terminals on the terminal strip, the spade is smaller on that clear heating relay for speed tap four on the end of the wire. That spade is smaller. It will not fit onto the male spades down on the terminal strip. That is why I took a piece of low voltage, put it underneath one of the Y terminals, and at the other end of that wire, I, <clears throat> I uh, stripped enough to bend it over and make the low voltage conductor a little bit fatter, and it fit nice and tight together with the speed tap for smaller spade uh, to make a good connection. So the, 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 the size of it is smaller than your other wires. So let's do this. Let's say that speed tap four happened to be the wire that the speed that you needed to get the right CFM for the outdoor unit, um, size of the outdoor unit. Well, great, but we have a problem. The spade that's on the end of that wire is the only spade that's going to fit up there on that heat relay. So what do you do? You come back three, four inches on the black wire, you cut the spade off. You could strip that wire off that's still left going down to the blower speed and stick it underneath one of the Y screws. You're done. But you still got to hook a speed up up top on that clear relay. You think about how many KW you got. We typically only use five, maybe 10. So really, speed tap two or three, three would probably be more than enough. I'd say speed tap two is probably going to be about right, but whatever speed you pick, let's say it's yellow, speed tap two. So it's got its little spade on the end, but it's not going to fit up there on that heat relay. So you cut it off, leave it up in the air handler, strip that yellow wire that was going down to speed tap two, bring the other black end with a smaller spade on it, wire nut them together, pop it up on the relay. Now you've got a relatively appropriate speed up on the speed tap um, and you will uh, have brought speed tap four if this is the one that proved to be the right one uh, down into the mix i wanted to share that with you uh, be safe